Here's a 1969 report by host Tony Brown about the role of the city's African-American middle class. Because the title of doctor has always worked magic in black social circles, they are most commonly identified as middle class. Along with them are the social workers, teachers, lawyers, and businessmen. The recent upsurge of militancy questioned their motives, attacked their status, and brought havoc to their cocktail parties. Instead of being called the black bourgeois, it was tightened up to plain booze. We asked some doctors to comment on the present upheaval. The uh, black middle class understands the problems of the uh, disadvantaged blacks. Now, actually what happens is all of them don't do anything about it. You have certain organizations uh, like ICBIF uh, in the inner city is doing an excellent job to help with black businesses. And you have other black middle class actually who are not doing anything there for themselves. But I feel they definitely understand the problem. But do they understand? Do they understand that black people do not want uh, to ape the value system, to uh, get caught up in the rat race which the hippie, the middle class child is fleeing from. I think if we recognize the fact that uh, the middle class has contributed leadership, but not in themselves, but in their children, who reject their values and who want to build a new value system around their blackness. The average middle class person here in Detroit, as, as across the nation, is very much in touch with the more disadvantaged uh, blacks. This is, for the most part, because they have frequent uh, relations with them in work and in many contacts throughout the day. Uh, not only that, but so many have, uh, have their origins in that group, if not financially, certainly in associations with them throughout schools and clubs. The black middle class as it exists is a microcosm of the macrocosm. That is, it's a little, big, little picture in a big picture. The society, as it sets down the values through Madison Avenue, uh, tells us what to like and what not to like. And to a degree, we're all middle class in a way, because we internalize these values without really realizing it. 